Hello and welcome to Dr. Ankur's Dental Lectures. Today we are going to talk about pharmacological management of pain and swelling. This is further to the case vignette number one on mandibular fractures. Till now we have read about the anatomy of mandible and about inflammation and the basics of pain and pain pathways. Now, how do we manage pain and swelling during fracture of mandible using drugs? So under this, we are going to talk about a group of drugs which is known as NSAIDs or non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs. These have three-way action against pain, fever, and swelling, due to which these are also known as analgesics, antipyretics. So let's come over to the classification of these drugs. NSAIDs may be broadly classified into non-selective cyclooxygenase inhibitors and selective cyclooxygenase inhibitors. Now, before we move ahead, let me tell you a little bit about the cyclooxygenase pathway. Uh, cyclooxygenase pathway is one of the pathways through which pain mediators, the chemical mediators of pain like prostaglandins, are synthesized by arachidonic acid metabolism. So, Basically, there are two pathways, the lipooxygenase pathway and cyclooxygenase pathway. The NSAIDs act particularly on the cyclooxygenase pathway to inhibit the mediators of pain, mediators of inflammation, and thereby causing resolution of pain, fever, and swelling. Going ahead with the classification, non-selective cyclooxygenase inhibitors they inhibit both cyclooxygenase 1 and cyclooxygenase 2 pathways whereas selective cox inhibitors they inhibit one of the two usually the cyclooxygenase 2 pathways so they may be of two types those which only inhibit cyclooxygenase 2 that is absolute cyclooxygenase 2 inhibitors or cyclooxygenase 2 selective inhibitors. Now coming to the non-selective cyclooxygenase inhibitors which are also known as conventional NSAIDs these, based upon their chemical composition, may be salicylates, like aspirin, para-aminophenol derivatives, like paracetamol or acetaminophen, pyrazolone der derivatives like phenylbutazone acetic acid derivatives such as endomethacin propionic acid derivatives
like diclofenac. Phenomex, like methenamic acid, oxychem derivatives, such as pyroxicum, hetero aryl acetic acid derivatives such as keto rola or benzoxazosine 